Hey, hello everyone. This is June, the professional blonde from the Binary Lab. Uh, I'm the founder of this uh, awesome group of people that mastermind about binary options training every day. And um, today, just like uh, the past couple of weekends, I've been releasing a weekend video. Um, and every time I do this, I'll be taking, uh, I'll be using, I'll be trying to illustrate um, options trading binary options trading or, or trading in general in very very layman's terms so that you guys can understand how it works and you guys can apply it to your lives so from today's video you're going to learn how to uh, manage emotions uh, when you're trading um, you're going to learn what drives the markets you're going to learn how to beat the market maker um, you know when you trade okay and and all this all these three things i mentioned to you boils down to one very very simple uh, element and and that really is um, understanding uh, that the market as you see it you know the charts that you see really simply is a illustration a visual representation of feelings of confidence and the opposite of confidence is what fear right why do okay when you see those charts if you've never seen charts before if you never traded before uh, but you may have seen movies like wolf of wall street and you may have seen um you know the daily news and they show all these price indexes and the charts and everything so you see all these bar bar things right okay um and you see sometimes they're going up and it goes down and it goes up and goes down okay what is going up about going up is confidence and what is the opposite of confidence? It's fear. Okay. So, market confidence drives prices higher. Market fear causes things to go down. Like when, when there is news saying that okay, uh, this month the employment rate is up. What do you think is going to happen to the currency? In, in let's say if you're in the United States, what's going to happen to the U.S. dollar? It's going to go up because of increased confidence. And when you when when the the employment rate goes down, or let's say the job claims, uh, the, the uh, you know the what do you call it, jobless claims go higher. All right, jobless claims going higher means and, and the employment rate going less means that uh, less people are getting paid, um, and then more people are also trying to claim cash. So is that going to be bad for the economy? Yes, that's going to cause fear, fear that the economy cannot hold up, and what's going to happen? US dollar is going to go down, okay? And then let's say Japanese elections recently, uh, that uh, you know different factions with different theories. All right, this maybe one one minister uh, uh, is very and you, and this happens in every country. One minister is very celebrated uh, because he preaches change. He uh, he gives people hope that if he gets elected into power, you know a lot of things will become better. And then when the when when the result is that someone else instead of everyone was hoping for wins the election maybe because there's also a substantial group of people that back the other one like uh, i personally go to thailand a lot and there's a lot of people who live in the city a lot of people who live out even more people live outside the city and the people who live in the city uh, and those who live outside the city have very very different ideas of what um of what they want in a new prime minister and when when someone comes in that throws the bulk of people off what do you think is going to happen it's going to result in you know either confidence or fear and that's going to shake the markets up okay so now you now i've just given you this example of what moves the markets right and now um how can we use that in 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 favor of of trading okay the the what i what i teach the people in the binary lab how to do which is the group that i run uh that there's information on how to join that in the, the video description somewhere else and some of you may be already a, a member of the binary lab anyway so I, I already had this lecture with the charts and everything um so confidence and fear uh, and the the idea okay and how the way to manage emotions um is to actually focus on other people's emotions does that make sense so let's say that um, you know, have you ever tried walking a tightrope, right? Or you tried to 
scale from one building to the next building okay like right now i'm actually in this you know my favorite weekend lounge area and and sometimes you know let's say if i'm looking across to the building on the other side and i want to and if there's a rope going right across to the other side and i want to to scale across there i can do it um, but some people may not be able to do it some people they just don't even uh, don't even dare to take the first step I can do it because I trust that the equipment is not going to fail me I will trust the safety harness that's going to be attached to my waist I, I, I trust that the, the cable is reinforced and strong and I'm going to get across to the other side and uh, uh, this other person on the other hand is just afraid of heights <coughs> And what do you typically tell someone who's afraid of heights? You'll say, don't look down. Look straight ahead, focus on what's right ahead, right? And it's the same thing as how do you, how do you remove emotional training from yourself? When you understand that the market is created by feelings of confidence and fear, switch your attention onto identifying other people's emotions represented on the charts by the bars going up or down rather than your own feelings and that is going to help you to transfer away and distract yourself into feeling more constructive emotions when i when i when i gave you the example of the you know skin across the other side okay i remember the term now it's, i think it's called the flying fox uh they have that in in uh, some of the the hotels in vegas you can scale from one hotel to the next or one 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 tower to the next and and uh, the difference between someone who is there who dares to go across to the other side versus one who's afraid of heights is that the one who's uh, the one who goes to the other side you know only has a few things in mind how fast is he going to get there um, is there any going to be any technical slip-ups and how will he manage the technical slip along the way all right whereas the one who is afraid of heights that person is 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 not even is to, that person who's afraid of heights is totally ignorant of of other conditions, you know, of whether or not she's going to be able to get to the other side in the first place, how fast she's going to get there, um, and uh, you know what the wind speed, whatever, ignorant of all those things. The first guy, on the other hand, he's more concerned about the equipment, the speed, uh, the wind speed, and uh, environmental conditions, you know. But the person who's afraid of fear is too is too caught up with the the fear that is not able to look at the other aspects. So when you're, when you're actually going out there to trade, and a lot of newbie traders have this problem as well, because when they deposit money with a binary options broker uh, for the very first time, and then they log in, and uh, maybe they've been trading demo for a while, and when they finally decide to trade live, and, and they, they, they look at the charts, and then half of the time, they're so frustrated, you know? It's like, I don't dare to click, I don't dare to click. You know, should I click call, put call, put? Oh my God, I'm I'm so scared. I, I don't want to do anything. Uh, and then, and before before they even do anything, the, the hand already starts, starts doing this. It's because the hand is trembling. Um, you know, before they even place the trade. Okay, constructive or not? No. So, how do we do that again? Instead, look out at what the charts. Uh, look at the charts. Identify confidence and fear. And in the binary lab, I also give people like technical indicators and, and, and how to use these technical indicators on how to, uh, how to find the turning points, you know, how to find that people have had enough. And, and, uh, and when people have had enough of a of, of certain emotion, that's when the market is gonna, that is gonna turn. And I, there's indicators uh, that I, I, I give out to my members on how to identify when the market is gonna turn. When is confidence is going to switch into fear, or well, let's say when is confidence going to go into overconfidence, right? All right, when something goes up too much, all right, confidence, right? And then what happens when, when, when confidence lays off? The rabbit and the hare. The rabbit, so, no, sorry, what? Well, the tortoise and the hare. The 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 hare wasn't even aware that the tortoise had the means to catch up and the tortoise slowly and surely made its way past the hare in the race because the hare was taking a nap somewhere so when the price is taking a nap when over when confidence is taking a nap fear begins to tide over and it goes down the other way so um 
that is how you you need to uh, I mean these are just some very basic concepts um, and uh, but at the same time understanding these concepts is going to help you to beat the market makers uh, unfortunately you know when you trade retail forex when you trade binary options or when uh, or when you uh, do like online poker betting you know you are always trading against the house okay uh, but how do you prevent the market maker how do you prevent the house from winning is simply to to be the five percent who knows what is really happening uh, rather than the 95 percent the 95 percent you know they 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 sense they they sense fear and they just get out and they, they see other people confident and they doubt once again i'm gonna say that again so when 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 they sense fear they get out and when they see confidence they doubt and that's why they're always making the lousy trades and staying out for the good ones okay don't be that person and you know if you need help we have a community and the community welcomes you uh, it's called the binary lab i've been running this group since march last year it started with about 10 people and now we're we're, we're closing in on a thousand um, every and and you know every day uh, we see success stories and if you if you even look at my facebook timeline it's, it's full of those um, and uh, when you come into a group you see many more okay so if you're looking for a supportive community that helps you to learn concepts just like what I've shared with you about confidence and fear in the markets and how to use that in your favor and, and you know what the differences between you know the two different the two different people that can be playing the the flying fox you know across the building the one who is who is uh, the seasoned guy or, or rather the confident guy and the fearful person all right and finally um, I, I talked about also um, you know how 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 people get out on fear and doubt confidence okay and if you understand how these things work for you uh, if you want to if you want to if you want to actually see that working for you in actual trading chart examples there's a link beneath this video um, on the video description it's it's uh, it should say julianwong.leadpages.net slash the binary lab so go going over there uh, register yourself and I mentioned to you also that um, you know there uh, a lot of people they sign up for a broker account and then once they they fund it and they, they look at the trades and they get totally baffled they don't know what the hell to do well um, you know the cool thing is the binary lab is actually free to join for a limited time so as long as you hit down to a link julianwall.leadpages.net slash the binary lab let's go in there and uh, you know just coming through come through uh, the brokers that we've actually arranged with because most of the time we have a special deal with them and and you actually get better care and you get uh, you know better promotions and bonuses uh, things like risk-free trades all right that's definitely going to help your fear right a risk-free trade is going to help you have less fear because um, we have arranged with some of these brokers to give you as much as you know 20 trades free all right uh, so between six and twenty three, uh, six and twenty trades free, depending on the brokers that you sign up with. All right, uh, that's all for now. Goodbye. Have a great weekend.